Hey everyone, it's Jaden back with another freaking video. If you're new, my name is Jaden and welcome to my channel, Jaden Ashley, you gotta get that right. I am going to be filming something that I've kind of been working on for the last few months. I am basically revamping my wardrobe. So if you're new, I gained about 30 pounds in the last six months, year, whatever. And so I had to buy pretty much all new clothes. I've been selling clothes, you know, week after week. My friends have been helping me get rid of shit because literally none of them fit me. So I am now a mid-sized girl. I was tiny, I was small, I feel like I was pretty little, but now I am, what, a size 10-ish, you know, I wear a large in most things, so I'm going to be sharing some ideas with you guys for basically mid-sized women. Obviously, different things are good for different people, but these items that I'm going to be showing you and like different outfits are good for my body type and I feel like accentuate and flatter me because in fashion, I feel like the best thing you can do is finding clothes that accentuate your body and make you look good because if you don't feel good in your clothes, it's going to show. I have to give a huge shout out to Uptown Cheapskate. They have made my new wardrobe possible. I am working with them, so they are sponsoring this video and you guys will see me work with them in the next, you know, few videos as well because we definitely have created a really um, strong relationship and a mutual bond for our love of fashion and basically what Uptown Cheapskate is, it's a thrifted secondhand store and the best part about them is that they're in so many different locations so it's not just in Jacksonville Florida my mom actually was in Kansas she is in Kansas now and texted me and said that there was one there so I will put a list of all the different locations right here that you can go to an uptown cheapskate I'm so excited for this video it's gonna be a pain in the ass but it's a huge haul and it needed to be done so without further ado let's just get right into the video so, uh, disclaimer I have a sunburn. We went to the beach. It's summer. It's a hot girl summer, a hot engaged girl summer, and this is what happens when you're my color. This first section that I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to talk about it and then have a video here of me trying them on, is going to be business attire. So I am a marketing manager at Allstate. I work with my mother, and I am required to wear business clothing. And I am also a business owner so I feel like this actually is super helpful for me because now I can have you know business bitch stuff and feel like a boss bitch so some of this stuff yes I purchased but some of it is from Uptown Cheapskate and some of it I did have and a lot of it my mom gave to me actually because she kind of was giving me her like hand-me-downs of stuff that didn't fit her um, but the first thing this is from love and peace it is this super cute little business top it has buttons and it's like tight on the stomach area but it is long sleeve and it's like the perfect little work blouse i have so many business pants i feel like i didn't have enough blouses so this one was my favorite and i actually pair it with these pink pants that i got from target so this shirt is a large and then these pants were a size eight and when i saw them I had to have them they're the tight ankle pants I feel like those are my favorite kind of style as far as like work outfits go because you can just wear some heels you can wear sandals and like either way the outfit looks super put together and nice so this next shirt I don't even know where I got it so I got this top at Belk it makes my sunburn look 10 times worse but it's a red satin kind of crossed in the front shirt um, the sleeves have like a little bit of ruching or whatever right here and it is a size medium so different things fit different ways and i don't know i have two different pairs of like black and white pants this one is like um looks like a clueless vibe i don't know what is that called plaid it's a plaid style and then this one's like little circles i don't know so either one it's super easy to make cute work outfits um and i'm pretty sure my mom gave me these pants they are a size medium and the brand is called hollywood this top I have not had the chance to wear yet it's Vince Camuto fancy bitch size medium it's like a sheer I don't even know what material I haven't even gotten the chance to wear it yet how pretty like it just reflects it's nice it's fancy it's put together you could wear a skirt you could wear all kinds of different things with it so I absolutely loved it I think the belt clothes that we did buy were a little bit more on the pricier side, but my mom was like, Jaden, you need to buy some high-end clothing because the higher-end clothing does last longer. That is the only bad thing about fast fashion. It'll only last you a few months compared to years, possibly, like this shirt. 
This top, super simple, but it's a perfect little summer work top. It's from TJ Maxx. The brand is Philosophy. And it's a size small. And I don't know why the hell I got a small because real deal, it's so tight on my arms. I'm going to have to have like our seamstress take it down some because it like when I lift my arms, it gets stuck. So this is just super cute. It has a little ruffle, any kind of pants. You can even wear some like nice white shorts um, if your office will let you. We have this skirt. It is from... Windsor, remember when we went to Windsor? Yeah. <gasps> Where's my black shirt? It's a size, don't know. Probably a large, most likely a large. But it has two little slits on the front. It's the plaid style, and I've been obsessed with the plaid, like I said, but this skirt really is super cute. I wore this like black sheer kind of shirt. It's like this material, but black and buttoned down and long sleeves. Tucked it in, wore some heels, and when I tell you, it was outfit, it was so cute. Let's get into a few things that I got from Uptown Cheapskate. So one of my favorite things is that you can find the craziest deals and the craziest brands and they'd be like, you know, affordable prices. So the first couple of things that I got from Uptown Cheapskate, this one is just this white sheer ruffle sleeved shirt. I got this a while ago. It's an extra small. It is a little tight on my arms, but it fits me okay. So I tried it on just to see and it worked. And I can wear this with basically every single pair of pants that I have because it is white and you can add like jewelry, you can do whatever you want. And mind you guys, I can't show you all of my clothes. I'm showing you as many as I can with this video like being a decent length. I wish I could, you know, but it's just unrealistic because I have to edit this whole thing. My favorite outfit that I have not got to wear to work yet, I'm so excited, I got a Michael Kors outfit, okay? So this first top, I was shook. Let me just show you, let me show you. Michael Kors size large this cheetah print snake skin shirt absolutely gorgeous i saw it and then i didn't get it the first time and then i went back and i was like okay i have to have it and then my ass found michael kors pants in my size in the style that i like the little ankle kind of pant thing these pants $15.99. This shirt was $15.99 also. So I got a whole Michael Kors outfit for $30. And in store, it probably would have been about $40, $50 for just one of these pieces. So you see what I'm getting at, right? The sales, the deals, the different kind of brands. And they don't have two of one thing. Like everything that they have is unique and it's from different places. And it's just, it's amazing. This actually is brand new. Um, this Guess blazer. So I didn't have a blazer that actually fit me. And my mom and I went to the Guess outlets in St. Augustine. And I think I got this blazer for $25. Yeah, it was 50 and then it was 50% off. $25 for a guest blazer. That's pretty freaking nice. And this is the kind of jacket that I would wear with all of these outfits just to kind of keep it businessy. I do need to get some more heels and some shoes and I am still trying different things to see what I like. Um, I have bought some stuff recently that I liked at first and I realized wasn't as flattering but as far as business attire goes, for me, it's just a flowy shirt and some pants, like high-waisted pants that I can tuck in. And I still feel super slim, feel like it hides my tummy enough, and I love it. So next up is casual. Some of this I would wear to work on like a real casual Friday or something like that, but most of it is kind of like an everyday sort of thing. So this little two-piece set is Gianni Beanie. Gianni Beanie is one of my favorite brands from... Dillard's. Dillard's, Dillard's, not Belk. So every Dillard. time I said Belk, I meant Dillard. I got it in size large, and it's basically just like this cotton two-piece set that is so flattering and cute. I need to go back and get it in like the black and other colors. It was a little on the pricey side. I love it. I think I overwore it when I first got it, so I haven't worn it in a little while. I almost forgot about it, but it's super soft. Next up, we have a dress that, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wear about three times since I got it. It is a dress from Old Navy. I actually linked it on my story, but it's basically like this nude, cross back, ribbed kind of sundress, shift dress, whatever you want to call it. I love it. I can wear it around the house while I'm cleaning. I can wear it if I want to go to the grocery store and I can wear it out on, I was about to say, out on the town. <laughs> 
right, I can wear it like out to the bars, you know, like a date night. Old Navy is a little pricey for me, but I needed an outfit really bad the other day and this was all I could find. So it was about $40 for a dress, but I loved how it made me feel like it didn't show any of my curves. Um, my butt was a little bouncy, but that's it. This next dress um, is from Express. Definitely one of my top two pieces that I got whenever I went shopping with my mom. It's like this mint kind of dress. It's the same concept of the other dress that I just showed you guys. It's like a shift kind of dress, ribbed, um, but it's definitely a little more tight. So I did wear some Spanx with it and I will wear Spanx with it just to make me feel a little more sucked in, but it's super comfortable. I can wear this as a business dress, wore it to work, but it's definitely like a good dress to wear with like some sneakers, like Air Force Ones or sandals. So versatile and Express has the best business clothes and just spring collection out right now. It is a large too, so the large definitely was a little bit more comfortable as well. The next set I posted on my Instagram, it is from Sisterology. This two-piece set was probably the most flattering outfit I've worn in a really long time. Noah loved it. My mom loved it. It's just this little flower peplum shirt and this really pretty skirt. I wore the skirt as like a beach cover up today. So, you know, you can do so many different things. Um, and it just looked really good on my body type. So I was happy with it. And the next few things are from Uptown Cheapskate as well. All right. It's a US 10. So it feels amazing. Noah hates polka dots, so I can't wear it around Noah. I mean, I could, but like, you know, you want to be cute for your man. So I'm just not gonna. And um, I've been loving the whole shift dress kind of thing. I feel like it's flattering for my body. And I would wear it with this top that I have on right now. It would be super cute. I'm actually wearing a blue one that I will show you guys also. He liked the blue one. So then we get into definitely more of a casual vibe. I got these denim shorts. Did I say that's from Uptown Cheapskate? I don't know, but that's where it's from. This whole outfit's from there, and then the rest of these things are from there as well. So, these shorts are Hollister, actually, in a size 11. They fit me, but they're a little snug um, on my waist, like if I eat too much. Because I have a bigger butt, the ends like this is cute until I walk because oh, my whole butt cheek will literally fall out. So I need shorts that are like cut my butt cheek. So I love them, but I definitely am gonna have to be careful with where I wear them because they're more like beach shorts and they were only what, $12.99. And to match, I got a couple of band tees. They have a whole section, I don't know if it's at everyone, but I got this band tee in a size large and it's Metallica. This one is for sure my favorite though. And it's more feminine of a band tee and I wore it with those shorts actually for like a little graduation party and I loved them. So that is going to be it for our casual section. Let's get right into athletic wear. So I only got one set from Uptown Cheapskate of athletic wear and I have been working out a little bit so I'm trying to build my athleisure I guess you would say. Um, but I did get this one little set. This is from Fabletic, $7.99. It's a size large and it's really pretty. Like It's like a tight kind of racer back tank and I really like those for when I'm working out. I don't like super big baggy clothes. I like to feel like put together. These are Adidas leggings and I got them for $15.99. They're gray but they have little white stripes and I got them as an outfit and it just fit me so well. Like I needed some sort of athletic outfit. They have so many different styles to choose from. They have swimwear, they have shoes. I haven't gotten every single style but I'm in the process. I'm still trying to you know build my wardrobe and make it exactly what I want. All right, so the last category is going to be date night. And this outfit I'm wearing right now could definitely go for like a date night. All the other pieces could be incorporated in date night. It's just about versatility and being able to wear outfits different times, different ways, different styles, different places. So this shirt that I got is from a boutique. It's probably one of the best quality like material shirts I own and I love this kind of style top. I feel like it looks good on my no boob boobs and it was a size medium. It fits really nice and I could wear it with some nice like black leather pants or a skirt or whatever. This I actually got from Uptown Cheapskate and it's a bodysuit. This is like we're going out to the club type outfit. Um, it was a size medium from the brand Day G. So I really like it because I can just wear some like Pacey's. $11.99 for this crazy nice ass bodysuit. So this also was from Sisterology. I wore this on a date night actually with Noah not too long ago. I love the way it feels. It's just like a silky long shift dress material. That's definitely my style. 
I feel like I've said shift dress or shift skirt so many times and I don't know how much it was I know that the boutiques are normally on the pricier side because they're small businesses and they have to charge a lot more but that's what's so good about Uptown Cheapskate is that you're paying such good prices for such good clothing so last outfit and the last favorite dress of mine that I have added to my wardrobe I'm just gonna keep it on the hanger because I'm like taking it off it's from La Four Muse this is also a local small business here in Jacksonville and I wore this on my birthday date dinner whatever and it's like a long tight dress like sweater dress with like this cute you know across the shoulder accented top you guys can see there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of different clothes so many different styles I feel like I don't have just one style I'm very versatile in what I like to wear thank you guys so much for watching I hope this gave you guys some inspiration on different outfits to get different places to go thank you Uptown Cheapskate for helping me make my dream wardrobe one piece at a time that's literally what it takes. It's been taking me a few months now, and I'm not even finished. It takes a while. It probably takes, like, a good year to completely have a whole new wardrobe because, realistically, who can just go and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on clothes? Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn on my post notifications, head over to my Instagram. I love you, and stay fabulous. Bye.